I think it, it, it helps them to see how you should do things, you know. So if I'm Isaiah and I'm a young receiver and I'm watching how Donnie gets gets ready and prepared every day, then I'm going to emulate that and, and, and turn into that. And when you got older guys that are setting it up for the younger guys, it just kind of keeps rolling over all the time. And that's what you're always looking for. Tony, so, so, so you start to really get into your Nebraska and saw Nebraska prep. What kind of things change in terms of practice structure for you on the offensive side? Well, the first thing that changes is all of a sudden you're not doing as much versus the, the defense, like ones versus ones, and you'll start doing what we call look team work. So you're getting into periods where we're getting some look team guys, where we're carting some things up, getting some specific looks that might be different than our defense. Coach Miller mentioned, you know, he's getting real close to kind of finalizing his five guys on the offensive line. Now that you're getting into Nebraska prep as much as you are, how important is it to kind of have your group and have your rotations kind of solidified here before you really hit game prep next week? You know, I think it's real important. You know, a guy like uh, Coach Miller, he's getting into his final seven type of guys, seven to eight guys that are going to be playing. Uh, you know, my position, you're getting into your two quarterbacks that are going to be playing. Uh, running backs, you're always going to be three or four deep right there. So it kind of depends on the position, how many guys you got. But you're starting to lock down on the guys that are actually going to be on what we call the travel the travel squad, be on the bus and help us win football. Tony, was the second scrimmage beneficial? I know you, you've done this in call play. <coughs> to have it be almost not scripted, kind of be on the fly trying to figure out what to do, play after play. Yeah, Is that, but that beneficial for everybody? Yeah, you know, it's always is. And I think it's beneficial for everybody because we're all new. You know, I mean, I've called plays a lot before, so I know, I know how to do that. I know what I'm doing there. Right. but. But we've got assistant coaches. We're all together for the first time. I got a group of quarterbacks. We got a whole offensive unit. You know, everybody out there is new. This is our first year. So anytime we're doing something like that, you know, it's just awesome to get out there and get the experience and get it under our belt. Did you sense anything change today from the guys in terms of like focus or uh, getting into that quote unquote Nebraska prep instead of the traditional training? Camp? Uh, you know what? It just kind of had that feel like, you know, traditional camp is, is, is over. We put it behind us and we're starting to move on to our first opponent. And I think that kind of, you know, gives it a little bit of juice, you know, to the to the both units right there. And all of a sudden it's different. We're not just going out there and, and pounding on each other. And we're, we're starting to look towards something that's coming up, uh, you know, whatever it is, 10, 11 days. How important is it to not show your hand and let you know Nebraska, you know, let anything out of the bag in terms of what you plan to do against Nebraska in Week Zero? Well, you know, I mean, I think anytime you go into it and you're a brand new staff and, and somebody's playing you for the first time and they have they don't really know exactly what you're doing, you know, you want to use that to your advantage. So as much as you can you can keep that from being out there, you want to do that. And uh, but you know, once we start playing, they're going to figure out what we're doing, and, and then it's you know, you gotta go play. Is there a difference that you can feel now when you're going against you know, a scout team or a development team when your first team it's a different look, more or less? They've been seeing the defense that you guys want to run on. Now you're looking at a different kind of scheme. <coughs> well, now we're starting a game plan where we've got plays that you know, we feel like we're going to get certain defenses. And all of a sudden you go out there, you're going against a look team. You're getting those defenses because you're carting it up that way. And you're like, okay, we're starting to get this look. We've talked about this play against this look. Now you can go out there and practice it that way. And that's what you're expecting to get on Saturday. You don't always get it that way. You've got to adjust, but that's what you're expecting. How much of your guys and your, your quarterbacks are starting to own this offense specifically? With BP and Art, you know what? BP, Art, uh, Matt, uh, Ryan. I mean, you know, we're 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 pretty deep there as far as guys that are really. They've got the offense down pretty well. I feel like they could all go in and play in the game. Uh, they might be at a little bit different levels right now, but the whole group is a group. They're getting better every day. And that's all it matters. Yep. Thanks, you guys have a good one. Yep. Thanks,